What's up everybody? Welcome back to Kale's Cooking Adventure. Today we're going to be making buffalo drumsticks. So it's like a buffalo wing, but there's more meat and it's on a stick. <laughs> what you will need for this recipe is drumsticks, a fourth a cup of hot sauce, two tablespoons of baking powder, salt and pepper, and four tablespoons of butter. So the great thing about drumsticks is A, they're really cheap, and two, the skin is actually really high in fat, which is really great for ketogenic. Um, so you're getting a lot of fats by cooking with, with drumsticks. And they're like, for all of these, it was $5, where I pay about $20 for a bag of chicken breasts. First, we're gonna melt our butter. Okay, now that your butter is melted, we're gonna separate it. So. We'll use half, so just set, cut it in half, basically. We are gonna put all of our drumsticks in a bag. Okay, next I'm gonna pour in the half of the butter, so this should be about two tablespoons. We're gonna put in our salt and pepper and our tablespoons of baking powder. So close the bag again. Okay, this isn't working. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put everything back in here. Trial two. If you guys can get your bag to work, then go for it. It's probably a better idea. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put everything in here and uh, mix it up with my hands. Got a little bit more. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna turn our oven on to 250 and let it heat up to that. What we're doing with cooking our drumsticks is we're gonna cook them in the oven on 250 for 30 minutes, and so that cooks the inside, and then after 30 minutes, we will brush on our buffalo sauce and cook it for another 30 minutes on 450. Now what I do is I lay, so like the most meat's at the top, because you can feel there's like, this is the bone is here and the meat's at the top, so it's, it's best to have the meat at the top. And we'll put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Gonna put in the hot sauce with the remainder of the butter. If you have one of these thingies, it'll help a lot. So if you have any juice left, you can just brush it on now. Thank you so much for joining me today in this episode where we learned how to make buffalo drumsticks. If you enjoyed this episode, um, don't forget to subscribe and like, and leave a comment below what you guys would like to see me make next. And I hope that you guys join me in going against the grain. See you next week.